my darlings, or very much actually good afternoon. It is already 3 p.m. As you will have seen from the beginning of this vlog, I've already had a really lovely start to the day. My usual Monday, but pushed back an hour, reform of Pilates and then sculpt, not bar. And today I was joined by lovely Leonora, which was such a treat. My first time using a guest pass at Bamford. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think either of us is gonna be able to walk tomorrow because those classes were intense. Like the sculpt class, there was not one moment to catch your breath. We just kept looking at each other sideways and being like, are you okay? Cause I'm not okay. <laughs> it was a lot, it was a lot, a lot. Um, but then we had a gorgeous brunch, went for a walk through the fields, had a lovely catch up saw lots of cows, <laughs> um, and then went to the farm shop. So yes, a really great start to the day. I also did my lovely dahlia picking this morning. We are in full dahlia swing at the moment. I think I need to do a little bit of moving around because some of the prettiest ones These ones, which are probably my favourites at the moment, um, the slightly more autumnal colours, they are beautiful kind of like fire red and this like sunset fuchsia. These are the hardest for me to get to, so I need to move them somewhere where I can pick them a lot more easily next year, but they're just such fun little colourful pom-poms and I absolutely adore them. So I got home. 20 minutes ago and I have been doing a little bit of unboxing of various um, PR packages and deliveries and things that I've been ordering from Amazon and here, there and everywhere. And there's something that I would like to unbox with you and um, chat with you about because it is a topic that is um, one which can be a little bit sensitive after one gets married. It is the baby topic because I feel like it's so cliche, but when you are dating someone for a long time, it's like, when are you gonna get married? When are you gonna get engaged? And then as soon as you're married, it's like, oh, you're gonna have a baby. And then as soon as you have a baby, it's like, oh, you're gonna have another baby. And some people are very much okay with people asking that question. And for some people, it might be a very sensitive topic. I personally don't, oh my God, what is going on? Sorry, <laughs> that noise just absolutely petrified me. It was Charlie wheeling the bins along our patio. How exciting. Um, yeah, I was just getting to the meaty bit. I personally am of the opinion that you maybe shouldn't ask people about where they're at because you just don't know what is going on um, for different people. Some people might not want children and they might not feel like explaining it every single time. They also might have been trying for a really long time and it could be a journey that they just don't want to randomly start talking about over a cup of coffee. So I like to play it safe and not ask. If they bring up the conversation, then great, we'll have a chat. But um, whether it's online or in real life, I think it's a subject that one must approach delicately. Now, having said that, <laughs> I share my entire life online. So if and when Charlie and I decide to begin that journey, then there's probably not gonna be much hiding it. I can guarantee if I'm lucky enough to be able to fall pregnant and have a baby, then you guys will probably know <laughs> before I decide to share it online and that's, that's fine. And yes, I will be totally honest with you again. We did get married, as you may know, a few weeks ago. And the next natural step for us is to start thinking about that because we would both love to have a family. Um, it's not a given. I feel like when you're little, you just kind of think that if you, even think about having sex, then you will instantly get pregnant. Um, as I've grown up, I've realized that that's very much not the case and it's very much not that easy. But, um, so it's not something that I'm like, yeah, we're gonna have a baby next year. I know that it's not that easy. I'm also 32. I'm not like a little spring chicken. But having said that, we have made no secret of the fact that um, it is something that we hope to experience in our future. So that brings me on very nicely to something that I unboxed this morning from my absolute favorites at Wild Nutrition, whose daily essentials and endometriosis support capsules and omegas and magnesiums I have been taking for a very long time now. It was actually 
Charlie that got me onto Wild Nutrition and Charlie always does his research so I trusted them based on the fact that Charlie was using them. It was really funny as well when we were in um, south of France with our friends. They had bought their entire <laughs> Wild Nutrition collection out with them and we were um, fully, like it was like a Wild Nutrition house. <laughs> it was really funny. They do supplements for men, you can get the daily essentials, obviously the men, the men, men can take pretty much any of the supplements um, but it is a company and a brand founded by a woman and created for women but men can still take the products so the reason the main reason why I absolutely love and fully trust the products from Wild Nutrition is that they are food sourced so what that means is that instead of consuming a capsule and your body has to kind of filter out the ingredients which it recognizes and understands aka like normal kind of food products and filler that's what's in most supplements but in wild nutrition it's all food sourced so the body recognizes the ingredients and instantly knows what to do with them not to mention the fact that you're not filling yourself with really <laughs> random potentially questionable ingredients so if i'm going to look to a product to potentially help me begin my fertility journey then it's obviously going to be wild nutrition so these are the capsules that i am taking every single day at the moment it is the daily essentials for women one of the ways that i found out that these were perfect for me was by doing a consultation with them you can do a free 15 minute consultation with the team at wild nutrition i will leave all the information for that link down below they will um listen to your current routine if you um have any goals if you have any Thing, like perhaps you want to improve your energy levels, you want to improve your immunity, they've got an amazing selection of products for all of those types of needs. I also always use their protein powder in my morning smoothies and coffees, even recently in some courgette and chocolate muffins. Um, but yeah, so these are the ones that I'm taking at the moment. It's got my omegas, it's got my multinutrients, has it got vitamin D? Yeah, um, but being where we are, post-marriage life, I'm going to now switch on to this version, which is a brand new launch from Wild Nutrition. These are their daily essentials for women's fertility. So we, I believe you still have the Omegas in here. Let's do a little unboxing together. So it's the same, very handy packaging. You literally just pull out a sachet. Also great if you're traveling, if you've got an overnight stay for work, you don't need to worry about putting everything into different pill pots. The packaging is all recyclable, they are a B Corp. Every step of their supply chain is totally ethical and sustainable. They've thought about everything, so don't worry, this is compostable. Um, okay, so we've got two fertility support capsules and four of the Omegas. So I'm already on the Omegas on my current capsules. So now we've got the fertility support and it's listing the benefits here. So lay the foundations for conception with this nutrient rich daily routine. And I should also say there is a men's version too because it takes two to tango as they say. Supports fertility and conception, hormonal support, mental resilience, reduces tiredness, fetal brain and eye development, cognitive development, and the recommended amount of folate. So I had to do a little bit of research on folate, and is it folic acid? It's all about maternal tissue growth and the actual development of the fetus, which is obviously very important. So yeah, I've not actually looked inside these sachets before. This is literally the day that I've got them. So it looks like, yeah, we've got the four omega capsules and then the two extras. This does have um, some of the general nutrients that I need as well. So there we go, no secrets here. All I'm saying is that I am gonna be taking these in the mornings now. Please don't ask me every single month um, if I'm pregnant yet, because that would just be excruciating. And yeah, it does feel a little bit strange sharing this with the whole of the World Wide Web. And I will start off by saying that we're not like actively trying to have a baby at the moment. That's not on the cards just yet. There's quite a few things that I wanna tick off the list before that happens, but um, I was speaking to a friend recently who has got babies and she was like, yeah, just get your body in that prime state, ready to go, so that when you do decide that the time is right, you're good, you're ready, you're healthy, and you've got all the nutrients and your body is like, yep, I'm in a prime state, I can do this. So yeah, I thought, now's a good time. Just feels very fortuitous as well that they literally bring out this product like six weeks after we get married. So yes, 
uh gosh it does feel very weird having this conversation with you but there we go no um no holes barred is that the expression I do have my Wild Nutrition discount code, which is WILDJOSI. I'll leave that on the screen here and it will be, all the information for that will be linked down below. A question that my friend um, a couple of days ago actually asked me when I was talking about Wild Nutrition, because she saw me taking the capsules in the morning. She was like, Josie, you've been eating so healthily recently. Why do you still need to take supplements? And I said, firstly, I don't actually personally like fish. So taking omegas is um, a good thing for me to do, even though you can get it in nuts and things. But we over farm soil so much and food generally, it's quite commonly reported that the food that we are able to get from the ground, the soil is not as nutrient rich anymore, therefore our food is not as nutrient rich. So it's still a good idea to take supplements even if you do have a healthy diet because we're just not quite able to get quite as much nutrients from our food as we should be able to. Um, and you know what, we're all busy, we don't all manage to get the exact right amount of nutrients from our food every single day. You guys know I eat mostly pasta, <laughs> there's only so much nutrient you can get from pasta even if you are blending courgette with it all the time. So I personally find that I want to take something which is not full of filler, um, it is something that my body recognises and also because it is a food grown supplement it means you can take it on an empty stomach which for me actually helps with me being able to stick with it regularly because when I was taking other supplements that weren't food grown, <laughs> firstly goodness knows what was actually in them, my body was probably literally like just expelling it straight away because it was like don't recognise this, get rid of it, but also other supplements you do have to take with food um, and Sometimes I have breakfast at like 11 a.m., sometimes I don't have breakfast, so I didn't ever get into a routine. Whereas now my routine, when the coffee machine is warming up, that is when I take my supplements. So if that is a factor for you, then another reason to consider Wild Nutrition. I adore them um, and I recommend them to all my friends. So definitely check them out down below. If you are further on in your fertility journey than I am and you are pregnant, they do have a pregnancy and mother support one um but yeah just give them a call because they give free advice it's amazing check out the website and yeah very exciting let you in on a little secret there so speaking of which um vegetable wise <laughs> i'm thinking about what i'm going to cook later i every night <laughs> my instagram explore page is just basically full of veggie pasta recipes now because the Instagram algorithm has clearly recognized that that is, <laughs> that is what I like to look at. So let me just show you. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Every single thing that comes off my Instagram explore page is a different kind of veggie pasta. So today I'm gonna be making, because I saw it on my Instagram explore page last night. Actually, do you know what? I might order this exact type of pasta so I can make this identically. If anyone knows what that kind of curly whirly pasta is called, please let me know. I literally bought shallots from Dalesford today so that I could make this. Oh, look at that. Does that not make your mouth water so much? So, I'm gonna head into the garden, pick my courgettes, and um, think about making this for my dinner in a couple of hours. I've just seen that Charlie has subliminally put this out in the kitchen so it looks like actually we're having this for dinner which I mean it looks delicious but you know what I'm like with mac and cheese once I start thinking about food I have to have it so uh, I'd better have some snacks so that I'm not going to get hangry while cooking this later um but yeah we've got a few Riverford boxes that need eating in the fridge so it looks like we'd better have that these beautiful blooms we actually bought for Charlie's mum to take with us yesterday when we went over to her house and guess who forgot them? Yes, we did. So I'm just going to arrange them beautifully in the living room. Um, I do need to do a little flower freshen up and they are absolutely beautiful. I love these and I love that you get like a second burst of alliums later in the summer. We've got lots in our herbaceous border and also how? Do Dalesford have peonies in August? They finished so long ago. This is like a clematis. Would you ever think to put a clematis in a flower bouquet? It's just lovely. Absolutely lovely. So 
speaking of babies, um, I'm pretty sure these are for babies. They are Milton sterilizing tablets. I have no idea how these are useful for babies. I'm sure loads of you do. Um, but I was actually told by, I think, lovely Hazel Gardener, whose name I just will always think is the best name in the entire world. Um, she's a florist and generally the most incredible person ever. I'm a little bit obsessed with her. She told me that if you put one or half of one of these in your flower water, oh my gosh, they're tiny. Surely a whole one. <laughs> Literally looks like a pill. Um, then it makes your flowers really happy. So let's give it a go. Especially since these flowers are now two days old. Oh, well that naturally broke in half, so let's just start with half. The world's tiniest tablet. It is now <laughs> Tuesday morning. We just had a workout with Simon in the gym and I am getting ready for the day post shower. My skin is in that give me, sorry, give me hydration stage, you know, when you literally just get out of the shower and you need to give your skin some liquid, some hydration. So excuse me while I apply my serum. Today is a drizzly day. If you don't live in the UK, there is a strong chance you might not even know what drizzle is. If you don't know what drizzle is, then I am very, very jealous. Let me know down below if you live somewhere that's not the UK and whether or not you have drizzle in your country. I don't imagine that the Middle East has drizzle. I don't imagine that most of Europe has drizzle, aside from maybe the deepest, darkest winter. Drizzle is basically when there is very fine rain just in the atmosphere and it's not even like raindrops, it's just wet outside. If you walk for a few minutes in drizzle, then you'll get wet, um, but it's not like dramatic rain. It is the most pathetic weather in the entire world. Oh, so that's what we're dealing with today. Oh my gosh, it is so much better. I have used my Allies of Skin Mist. I have seen so many TikToks and Reels that say you need to mist your skin before your serums. I don't know what magic it does, but my skin does really enjoy it. This is the probiotic treatment mist, and then I'm following it with the multi-peptide GF lifting, lifting serum from Allies of Skin, which I told you about about three weeks ago, and it has sold out. This has been, unsurprisingly, such a huge hit in the UK. I feel like so many of us were waiting for this to come out. This is my mum's favourite serum at the moment as well. It is instantly hydrating, but it is super anti-aging. It's got the lifting complex um, full of peptides, which is fantastic for building um, like bonds within your skin. So collagen, elastin, and just so hydrating. I am obsessed with it, but I'm sorry, it's, <laughs> it's sold out. I did promise you, um, an update on Lala's anti-aging skincare routine because a lot of you have been asking what she's been doing. She looked so amazing and glowing at our wedding. I know that this is a firm favorite of hers, but when it's back in stock, I will talk to you about it in more depth, but I love it and I feel really mean <laughs> talking about it because you can't buy it at the moment, um, but I'll let you know when you can. So what does one do when it is drizzling, aside from have a really slow pampering shower. I'm gonna just find my richest body lotion and slather it on. I um, put some fake tan on a couple of days ago and it's looking really good and I just wanna keep it looking great. I think our plan today, I want to go and make myself a really hearty breakfast and really peckish this morning. And then I think we might actually head down to RH England, which is the restoration hardware that we went to the opening party of, you might remember, a couple of months ago. But because it was the opening party and very much a party, not like a shopping afternoon, we got to see the space, but we didn't get to see all of it. And it was a party, not a shopping day. So I think we 
are gonna head there because it's pretty much all inside. As with everything, it would be even nicer on a nice day because blue skies, gorgeous vistas, we could have sat outside and enjoyed the gardens there. But alas, there's plenty to look around on a drizzly day. I'm intrigued to see what the restaurants are like there. I believe they've got a pizzeria, the smart restaurant that we had the little sample meal at the party. They've got a juicery, they've got the orangery, they've got wood-fired kitchen. I don't know if two of those might be the same thing. I don't know if they're going to be serving that asparagus risotto that was served in the cheese wheel at the party. I really hope they do, because that would be amazing. Had another veggie pasta for dinner last night, by the way. I would have shown you a few clips. It was really tasty. It was um, basically courgettes, tomatoes, bit of basil, bit of pesto, and then all blended together with a little bit of ricotta. Oh, it was lovely. Anyway, I'm going to go and hydrate my body, get my hair dry, and then let's head over to RH England. Okay, my darlings, it's an hour later. I actually blow dried my hair properly today. Don't know why, because a drizzle equals instant hair going flat. Never mind. I thought it deserved to be dried for once. So I have something really funny to show you. I saw this little collection <laughs> appear on Amazon and I was like, that is hilarious um, as a dupe, a major dupe for the Van Cleef jewellery. I don't own the Van Cleef bracelet, it's very expensive, but you may recall I do have the Van Cleef earrings and the necklace, although I'm actually wearing my Omega necklace at the moment. Side note, I had a few questions on Instagram throughout the last like eight months on wear and tear of the Van Cleef necklace because apparently when you buy it, the shop assistants are like, take it off when you shower, take it off in the sea, take it off, blah, 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 blah. I have never taken it off, aside from now, and the odd massage. And I wear it in the sea, I wear it in the shower, I wear it to bed, I wear it when I'm applying my body lotion, I wear it in the gym, and it has not tarnished. It's still shiny, it's still pearly, exactly the same as these earrings, which are far newer. So I'm not, I know that I just wouldn't bother putting it back on if I had to keep taking it off again. And luckily, it's perfect, it's in perfect condition. So. I wouldn't be too precious, and if that's put you off buying it, um, all things else considered, then don't let that put you off buying it, because it is a really nice necklace and I do love the earrings. Um, I have got the Omega bracelet, which I absolutely adore, and I think it's nice to have something a little bit different to the Van Cleef bracelet, but yes, I saw this on Amazon and just thought it was kind of hilarious, like how they can get away with it, I don't know. Well, I do know, because legally you have to have eight points of difference and even the fact that the backs of these is solid as opposed to the pearly is one big difference. The size is different, the rounded edge, the shape is different, etc, etc. So legally they're fine but still a little bit like, ooh, a little bit naughty. Um, but I have to say, I'm quite impressed. Not everyone <laughs> slash a lot of people will not want to or have the means to buy Van Cleef jewellery. It is very, very expensive. And um, if you want to get the look for less, then this is actually a really fun and pretty piece from Amazon. Equally, if you don't give a hoot about Van Cleef, you just think it's a pretty style, then yeah, there we go. I think, I think it's really, really pretty. However, I did also order for contrast the green versions, the Malachite. That is a collection that I do not have, but it's really lovely. And the quality of these is not good. So... Um, let me know if you want like a side-by-side -side comparison, but the actual, so I ordered the pendant necklace and the earrings in the green and the bracelet in the pearl, and this literally looks like a sticker. Quality, not good. I think the other day I decided that the lighting was quite nice in here for showing you outfits of the day, um, but I'm not sure, you're too far away for me to tell, but I've decided to go with this lovely golden Hobbs dress, which I was planning on saving until autumn, but it very much feels like autumn is here. It's got the nice smocked bodice, long sleeves, um, which you can cinch up, and it's just the most gorgeous silk fabric. And then my little, apparently these are called the Oasis sandals, the heeled, MS ones, um, they are actually officially the only item that I've decided to keep from my little H&M, H&M? 
Emma's unboxing. A lot of you said that you didn't like the cardigan and that it wasn't worth the money. I do like the cardigan, but I agree, it's not worth the money. So that has gone back as well as the belt. So thank you for your feedback. I do listen, um, but I'm already wearing the sandals lots. Anyway, I'm hungry. I know Charlie is hungry slash hangry, so let's go. I don't know if it'll even show up on camera, but this is the definition of drizzle. Everything is just wet. It's actually consistent rain. Very miserable. So we came straight in for some food so that we can explore on a full tummy. We have got a full rotisserie chicken, some uh, charred peppers, truffle fries which smell amazing, beetroot carpaccio and a burrata. Oh my goodness, it looks delicious and this room is absolutely stunning. just finished lunch and we are going to go for a little explore of the property. This is actually the bathroom, I have to say I love this antique beautiful mirror. Post lunch we are doing a little walk around and this area we didn't actually get to see when we came to the party because you weren't allowed into the gallery if you had a drink in your hand, which we did the entire time. So this is a little... Um, well, not so little, we're just going to explore it now. Art gallery. This particular room is dedicated to Sir John Soane, I think that's the correct pronunciation, who actually built this beautiful building. So we can find out a little bit more about him and the other places that he built. I'm trying to remember what this space was before RH took over, but it's a really beautiful, bright space. Very wonderfully presented. Um, artworks and details on other pieces of work from Sir John Soane. Soane, maybe? This beautiful iconic staircase. Goodness, absolutely beautiful. What have you spotted? Sorry? What have you spotted? Gardening books. Gardening books. Yeah. Well, no, Which garden yeah. books. Oh. They're all just about amazing gardens around the world. Mm. <clears throat> Lovely. So you can come and pick up a book on your desired subject. This one sounds quite up my street. The Making of a Garden by Gertrude Jekyll. My goodness. And then you can come and sit under an RH lamp <laughs> for the perfect reading light. Gosh, look at this. Wow. What a name. What, what does anthology actually mean? Because our constant spry book is an anthology. Hello, Thank you. Beautiful. And of course, all the furniture is restoration hardware, RH furniture. As you'd expect from the lights, to the tables, to the chairs. Fabulous. Hammer of Ornaments. Owen Jones, 1856. Wow, and why is it so big? Is it just because it's full of patterns and inspiration? Yes, because it is truly a combination of things from around the world. Wow. Um, so you've got you know, table Turkish of contents ornaments. and you can, everything from Turkey and Persia, Pompeii, uh, <gasps> Egypt. So would um, an interior designer have presented this book and said, what kind of style do you like? And I might have said, I want a Turkish inspired living room. And Indeed. the interior designer mm -hmm. would open this book on the Turkish page and I'd choose the designs. Yeah. Or if you were so inclined to have, oh, sorry. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Have something that looked like the inside of an Egyptian crypt. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we can find Greek. Greek. Well, the page yes. is protected. Greek. 
Let's pump her in. <gasps> oh, the columns. Oh my gosh, I just saw a page all about different column tops. Some Roman, Roman ornaments. ornaments. Here, Here we go. go. Look at this. My gosh. Imagine the people that would have been like, I like that one, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it tells you where that specific one is from, from the Pantheon. Pantheon. Or the Arch of Constantine. <gasps> wow. Oh, it's just incredible. Wow. Amazing. That really is amazing. 40 years after the printing press. Think about that. 40, 40 years, years after the, the printing, printing press, press was invented. So mm -hmm. what year did you say this book was from? 1521. 1521. Yeah. And what is it about? It is one of um, Marcus Vitruvius's 10 books on architecture. Wow. Uh, and so it's where the Vitruvian man which is the centerpiece yeah. of our design ethos mm. comes from. The Vitruvian man symbolizes balance, symmetry, and proportion mm. uh, within the human body. And then, you know, Leonardo da Vinci uh, did the one that's shown on the wall there. Gosh. Uh, he made it um, probably more famous than Marcus Vitruvius. Yeah. Did. But, um, but it's been you know, replicate, yeah, replicated you know, in Many different ways. languages. This particular one is in Italian. Ah. But I've got one over here that we can actually, we can actually look through. You like can have it's in it German, through. which is, oh. um, was done by Benedictine monks. Oh my goodness me. Early. So we keep stumbling across different rooms, different bedrooms. Of course, all the furniture is RH. So I was trying to figure out who Who's coming here? I think it's a lot of interior designers, a lot of property developers, people that want some inspiration for their home. And you could literally come in and say, they've obviously got a team of interior designers here, so you can come in and say, I want this exact thing in my house. I think, obviously very different to our furniture in our home. It's very contemporary, very structural, very straight lines. And yeah, it's kind of the direction that Soho Home started to go in, yeah. isn't it? Especially yeah, with the- sure. Obviously restoration hardware did it first, but it's yeah. interesting, isn't it? So I've got a very similar style now. Yeah, but I, I do really like these. I like these, they're not right for our house, but I like them. But I think we could have more modern touches in our house sparingly. Like, especially imagine, you know, if we want to just cuddle up on the sofa and read a book. I know we've got lamps, but they're quite good at just aiming the light down, have a little flick through a newspaper or something. Yeah, I like the carpet. The black, the black wiring. Oh yeah, You'd that. Have to have them rewired. Yeah. But, um, yeah, get that rewired. Yeah. But they've got some. I like, the thing I like the most in here is that piece of artwork. Yeah, that's really that lovely. It's beautiful, and it, it really does work on the bed. So mm, yeah. That's a spectacular piece of artwork. They're lucky they've got such fabulous architecture oh, to um to play with. So our next stop, we're going to go and check out the juicery. I've heard they've got a La Marzocco, and we are ready on this rainy afternoon for a little bit of a caffeine hit. Oh, I just love this floor. Yeah, the floor is gorgeous. And I'm accidentally matching all the interiors in my gold dress. Oh my gosh. Is this the kitchen? So this beautiful exposed brick room. Look at these hatches up here, the old reclaimed wood and the stone walls. This is room after room of interior inspo. We were just chatting to one of the team about mixing the old with the new. So much inspo. It's actually a lovely place to come on a rainy day. Look around and get a ooh, little step there, missed that. And I've picked up a chai latte from the juicery. Love the use of the trees indoors. Who'd have thought that a giant piece of copper on your wall <laughs> would be an effective art piece, but it is. that used to own and live here she said that they took out all of the ensuite bathrooms because of course this used to be um you used to be able to rent this place for weddings and host your guests here so most if not all of these bedrooms used to have bathrooms which are no longer here to make the rooms bigger for showing more bits of furniture um, and each room is either a bedroom or a sitting room everything is shoppable it's very interesting i think i'm finally starting to understand what this place is all about and very good chai latte. 
Now we all know I'm not good on like high trend things, but I'm pretty sure this is the infamous cloud sofa which people literally lose their mind over. I think you can get, get different blocks of it. You can make it into a corner sofa, you can get like different sections to make it work for your room. Great I'm sure it's very comfy. Surgery. Great for dentist surgery. I mean, can you imagine how mucky out here? Dexter and Dickens would absolutely obliterate it. I've never sat on the infamous cloud sofa, let's give it a go. Oh, it's pretty comfy. I think this is one of the main bedrooms on the corner of the house. This used to be, I'm pretty sure, a little dressing room nook. And now you've just got the most amazing views out of the Georgian windows onto the landscape, which is looking very autumnal today. Little sheep in the field across the way. Definitely have to come back on a sunny day. This is probably my favourite room so far. It's very cosy. It's got the um, big velvet drapes on these brass rails going around the bed. Imagine on a cold day just cocooning yourself in here and then you've got the ostrich feather lamps that were um, part of the Ainho repertoire back before the house was converted. Funky little round seating area surrounding the fireplace. And again, so many of these little reading lamps. The drizzle continues. They've made it feel even more cosy in here by having the velvet drapes on all the walls. And through here, I remember this actually used to be a bathroom. I think I actually filmed a campaign in this bathroom. It's no longer a bathroom. Um, when I came here many years ago. But yeah, I really like the effect of the draping on the walls. In our house, the drapes would just get full of spiders. But here, it works. So I'm now up on the second floor. It is just room after room after room of incredible furniture, some beautiful antique and um, very old bits of art, lots of statues. I love a good statue. Mixed with some contemporary pieces, not one bit of wall is left uncovered. Love this. And then this room is more like an office with a desk with lovely views out onto the main driveway. I think that's a fig tree. <laughs> Another iteration of the cloud sofa, this time with a little footstool. Very gosh, so I think we have just about seen all the rooms here, which is no, no mean feat. I think we've probably been here about two hours, so if you are looking to just be inspired and see some beautiful interiors on a rainy afternoon then this is definitely the place to come i think for those interested in design in architecture and in interiors i mean it's just it's like a museum an entire beautiful old historic english home interior designed to absolute perfection and everything being shoppable as well so for anyone staying in Straw Top Cottage, this is literally seven minutes away. There's the juicery, there's the orangery where we ate downstairs, um, and apparently there's lots more to come. I feel like you can come here just to sit and have a cup of tea and read a few books, or you can come to shop, speak to some interior designers. Yeah, I'll definitely be back. I think it'd be gorgeous to explore on a sunny day. Um, but yeah, it's been a lovely place to spend a couple of hours on a drizzly Tuesday afternoon. Hello again, darlings. No, I haven't accidentally inserted a clip from last year's Vlogmas. I actually am dressed head to toe in cashmere because drizzle, that's gonna be the title of this vlog. Drizzle-o-rama. Um, yeah, no, back at home and it's so cold, it's so miserable, and I just wanted to be cosy. So I have popped on a non-matching, but kind of they do match, set um, from Lily Silk. This is my favourite jumper from last year, or did I get it two years ago? Not sure, um, with the diamond design. And then they're not the matching bottoms, these are the stripy ones, but they're the same colour, so... Although this looks a little bit more yellow. Either way, who cares? It is a nice, cosy, relaxed outfit to wear at home because it's cold, it's drizzly, and I just want to be cosy. I've just done a couple of hours of emails, and now I'm going to go and make some yummy dinner. 
inspired by RH, I'm kind of thinking about where in the house we could put more mirrors because I took a few like little selfies in the mirrors there and it's just so great <laughs> for taking outfit photos and showing you guys my outfits on here as well which I regularly do but I mean this mirror's got like a giant scratch in the middle um loads of mirrors in this house just have not very good lighting so imagine if I could have like an epic I just don't know where we don't really have many big blank wall spaces so if you can think of anywhere in this house that we could put a big big mirror so I could show you outfits that would be amazing but um yes very exciting not <laughs> anyway I think I'm gonna go and um do my evening cleanse so that I've got clean skin for this evening I'm gonna go downstairs I wouldn't be surprised if Charlie's lit the fire honestly it's that kind of day in August and yeah make something nice and cozy and hearty for our dinner well my prediction <laughs> was correct Charlie has indeed lit the fire is this our first lighting of the autumn season 2023 <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope it's the first lighting. I am just, I just feel exhausted. Yeah, no. Do you know what? I feel Horizontal. Exhausted. Yeah, I just feel, today I woke up, you know when you wake up and you're like, you've not slept well. I know, I who's to blame. I session and I, I never, and I even feel like I've got a migraine coming. I don't know what's going on. Poor daddy. I'm hoping the fire. Do you know what? Charlie Irons' recipe for solving a migraine. Fire, dog cuddles, Alan Partridge. Bacon sandwich. Three combinations. And a bacon oh, I sandwich. Love, I love Alan Partridge, Daddy. I find him so witty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's such a good dog. You are oh, so nice. I'm really smelly. I'm really smelly. I'm really smelly. <laughs> cozy drizzly day and the fire being on has meant that of course I've had to make I say had to I had to make a mac and cheese for dinner did it in the Thermomix again and I used the Fontina cheese that I got in Dales with the other day instead of cheddar but otherwise my normal recipe was some breadcrumbs on top and that new swizzly pasta which just arrived from my Amazon order perfect timing so I am going to dig in oh yummy mm -hmm. 